Five, six, seven, open up pearly gates, ain't got time to wonder why. Oh, whoopee, all gonna die. Booyah. <laughs> it's been a while since we had a fun song before the thing started. Today, but... <laughs> Welcome to this week's edition of the Weekly Travel Alert. I'm Steve Glenn. I'm Paul Glenn. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Executive Travel is the sponsor of this week's Weekly Traveler. We've been doing this Weekly Travel podcast how long now, Paul? A year? Oh, we got to be getting close, yeah. Close to a year. We're kind of figuring, figuring it out. figuring it out, yeah. We're going to have a birthday or anniversary pretty soon, but today we've got a lot of fun. We're going to share with you 11 amazing things to use your iPhone when you travel. Now, this isn't just about taking pictures of a pretty sight. These are all the things that will keep you out of trouble, make your life easier on the road, especially for a road warrior, things that you never think about about how you can use that phone. And I'll tell you, I've gotten Paul, so I'd rather lose my wallet than my phone when oh, I yeah. travel. It can be tough to function without the phone. I sure. can't. I, it's hard for me. To, we've been doing this, what, 38 years. It's hard for me to remember how it was traveling without a phone. Well, even, you know, 10 years ago when you had to have a piece of paper to get on an airplane. So, yeah, yeah I mean, life has, has changed so much with technology and for the better for the most part. But, you yeah, bet. I mean, you do become reliant on things and, and a phone can be a great tool. You bet. This is sponsored by Executive Travel, as I mentioned, 38 years in business. And we have our, our headquarters at 1212 O Street in Lincoln, Nebraska. Even though most of our people don't live here, they work from home all around the world. And uh, we're thankful that we can uh, join you today. And we're going to start along this list, the list of the top things that you can use your cell phone for. The first one I had on my list, and I use an iPhone. Probably people use Google phones. And Androids, all, all that fun stuff. Yeah, Samsung. It's, it's, more, it's more about the camera. You bet. That's, that's the key. So here's what the number one tip I do. I always take a picture of the taxi cab number. Now, most of the time I'm doing Uber, you don't need to do that with an Uber because you're going to get the, the, the license number, the yep. car color, the driver's name, and you're going to get a receipt on your cell phone, so you don't need to do it. But when you jump into a taxi cab, I always take a picture either before I get in or after I get out of the taxi. Why do I do that? What if I left my phone in the taxi? I don't know which taxi it was. <laughs> you left your phone in the taxi. Uh, having a picture of it on your phone is not going to help you out. Well, at least you'll... you'll <laughs> Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, anyway, the, the plan point, B. <laughs> but if you leave something in the taxi, notwithstanding your phone, uh, you've got a way to know wh who you worked with. And, and, and that's really saved me a lot of times. Um, that's basically I call my safety valve. Number two, take a picture of your car at the airport parking lot. Now, I, I'm a traveling all the time i don't know if i'm in lot b lot c you can't remember uh, you yeah. can't remember so where you're i at. simply take a picture of my car and usually at the back of each space is a number like 123 mm -hmm. or 152 and you can literally know when you get back from the flight you look it up on your phone you know where you're at oh especially when you've been traveling internationally you've been on the road for 20 some hours to get home you're discombobulated and tired and all those things so and that one does come in handy especially when you're going in and out of larger airports i know with lincoln um you know it's a smaller airport smaller parking lot and yeah. i tend to park in the same section yeah, every too. time but i get to omaha and yeah when you're doing a two-week trip it's tough to remember so the only advantage is you've got those uh hazard buttons on your clicker on your make, key. make it honk yeah make it honk back at you yep. that'll sometimes save you number three on this week's list of the top 11 items you'll want to use your iphone for the next time you travel that isn't really related to taking pictures or selfies or anything like that reads take a picture of your rental car um i do it for two ways two reasons paul number one if I get in at 10 o'clock at night, grab a rental car, I don't even know what color it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this will help me. You know, you can look on your key fob and say, hopefully it'll say Toyota or GM or whatever. But the other thing is, is I before I get my rental car, I put it on video and I walk around my rental car videotaping it. Why do I do that? So that you can prove the condition it was in. You Absolutely. can show those scratches. You can show those dents. Absolutely, guys. 
you know, uh, most people don't, they just jump in the car and go. But the reality of it is if there's a dent or a scratch, you're responsible when you bring that back. And maybe the guy that washed the car before you got in it didn't, didn't document pay attention. it. Yep. Number four on this week's list of the top 11 things you can use your iPhone for the next time you do your business travel is take a picture of your meeting agenda. So, you know, they give you a folder and it has all this junk in it, right? Well, a lot of them now have apps for the meetings, mm -hmm. uh, but some of them, the smaller meetings, still have papers and folders. So I just click, 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 leave that in the bedroom. So I'm not tagging that around, leaving it in a thing. So that's an easy way to get with meetings and such. Yep. Number five, take a picture of your luggage. Now, why do you do that? Well, you don't check bags. So, Thank goodness. So you don't have as much risk as some of us do. But when they lose your bag, not if they lose your bag, is yeah. when they lose your That's bag. True. If you've got that photo that you can pull up and show, it's just going to simplify it. Yeah. And if you're, once again, if you're like me, you might have a black bag, a silver bag, a hard side, a soft side. Then you can pull it up. You show it to the airline rep. Say, this is my bag. Fill in the form and hopefully you'll find well, it and It's simple. I mean, you're going to have all those bags in one spot in the trunk of your vehicle on your way to the airport. Just take a picture of them all and you've got it all in one simple, one simple form. The number six on the top 11 items on ways to use your iPhone when you're traveling, notwithstanding a selfie or pictures of the beautiful sunset and sunrise, reads, take a picture of your hotel room number. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've gone to a hotel they didn't perhaps write my room mm -hmm. number on my room key or I just have my room key. I'm thinking, where in the world is my room? I pull up my camera, 168. I go to 168. That's what that little key thing that you slip in the folder goes. Well, and I had this happen just a couple weeks ago where we got to a hotel, we were out on the East Coast, and instead of keys, you had a bracelet that was your key. So it was all digitized. Really? So they didn't hand me the thing that had my room number. And so I went through my bags in there, and then we went out, and we had a dinner that night. I got back to the hotel, and usually I put the key and the little thing they wrote my number on in my back pocket. I didn't have it. So I got lucky. I, I, I did get into the right room, but... It was, uh, wasn't was without some worry. Hey, this is sponsored by Executive Travel. You might visit our website, executivetravel.com. And then also, uh, we send out a weekly travel alert via email this every Tuesday at 1030 to 100,000 people. So you can register on our website. We'd love to have you join our email group. So with that, we're coming up with a list of the top, top 11 great ways to use your smartphone camera when traveling. Number seven reads, take a picture of your credit cards, front and back. Why do you do that? If you lose it or if it gets stolen. Yeah, then you can at least call in. You know, you've got phone numbers on the back that you could call into the credit card. You know the number. Now, a lot um, of times you can do some of that on apps anymore. If you've got credit yeah. cards that are, are big name credit cards, you should be able to have the app where you can see what's going on. You can cancel it right from there. You can order a replacement. So, but, and to that, you know, and you've talked about this on prior episodes, actually having it so that your credit card and you can do digital payments from your phone. Yeah. So in addition to having the, the photos, have it so that you've got that card information there. But if, you, if your card is compromised, you're likely going to want to cancel it. So then even having it in your phone so you can do a digital payment is yeah. going to be something that's not going to work. Yeah, I, uh, I really like Apple Pay. I've stored my cr key credit cards in there, and now I'm just tapping with everything. Mm -hmm. It seems like Europe does tapping easy. U.S. is now probably... 60 percent a lot of tap. places that are no cash yeah so yeah yep. so it's much much easier number eight on our list are the top 11 things you can do to to use your iphone when you're traveling take a picture of your passport because when i'm traveling how many forms do you get that say fill in your passport number blah 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 yeah. every airline international airline ticket you got to fill it in online and then you, you, you don't know where it's at. It's in my briefcase. Where is it? Or as you can just click it up, pull up your photo. You can search it in Google Photos and just say passport and mm -hmm. it'll come right up for you. So that's an easy way to do it and it saves me a lot of time filling out those forms. Yeah, especially when you have multiple people traveling rather than having to dig through and find the right pages. It can save a lot of energy. One of the things I have on the list of the top 11 things that I use my iPhone when I travel Number nine is take a picture of the restaurant business card that you ate at, and you can share it with friends, especially if it's one you like. Now, how many times have you gone to a great restaurant, a fantastic food, you get home and you think, 
What was the name of that place? What was the name of that place? <laughs> that was good. It was a great was it? place. What is the name of it? And sure enough, so when I start taking pictures of the business card, it has their address, mm-hmm. the name, and sometimes even like the chef's name or the maitre d' or anything well, like we that. Well, in, in our business, then we can send it to our staff and say, you know, yeah. if you've got somebody going here, suggest that they go in this direction. Hey, number 10 is very similar to that. Instead of just taking a picture of the restaurant business card, if you find that great bottle of wine, perhaps a bourbon, or a, a beer even, uh, take a picture of the wine bottle because it's the same thing. You think, this is the best Cabernet I've ever had, and then you can't remember what it was. Mm-hmm. And so uh, so it's so easy just to snap that picture. And uh, I know oftentimes when I find a great bottle of beer like a Coca Mia, I'll take a picture of it and send it uh, to you. I, I, I get a lot of those pictures. Okay. When you're out about. Hey, number 11, the last item that we have on great ways to use your iPhone or our smartphone when you're traveling reads take a picture of business cards. Many people use a business card app. So you can take a picture, it automatically goes okay. right into your uh, address book. Yep. Yeah, no, a great way to great way to keep that without having to have that paper. How many times have you gotten somebody's business card and then you misplace it or you put it into your bag and it ends up at the bottom and then you can't find it? You so, bet. hey, we'd like to hear back from you if you've got any great ideas on how to use your smartphone. Send them to Steve G S T E V E G at executivetravel dot com. I'll see if I can't add them to our list and next time we pop this one open. We'll mention it. There we go. Okay, why don't you do the zip, boom, bing. All Here right. we go. Please like, subscribe, share, and add any comments or feedback below on topics that might be of interest for a future episode. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week.